Hi folks and welcome to a very warm Mackenzie Photo Studio, i.e. my living room. Um, you're going to see some behind the scenes stuff. I've got a little um, DJI Osmo thing recording in the background. Today I'm going to be doing a quick portrait session with my son, my younger son probably because other, my other two children will not get involved. So today I'm just going to be doing a little setup. I'm going to do one with continuous light because I've got my first ever film camera that I ever bought. I still have it. I'm never giving it, I'm never giving it up. Uh, I may give it to one of my children in my will, or I may get burnt with it. I don't know. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ring light, which you see here. And I've forgotten the remote. Just give me a second. Sorry about that. Now I've got the remote in hand, you'll be able to see the difference between ring light. Now this is going to go quite dark, but you should see the difference in the light that can be created. Now, I'm just looking at the picture on my phone because I'm using the app to record this and you can see there's a lot of difference. Obviously, this light is, this ring light is flash and the video light that I've got is continuous. Um, but I'm going to be doing a bit of both. You can still shoot still with both, but it's better to shoot with flash, in my opinion. Now, the ring light that I've got is a Goodox Westro AR400. I bought it, must have been about 10 years ago before everyone went mental for a time wanting ring flashes and then it kind of died down and now it's come back with the continuous ring flash mainly for like TikToks and stuff like that but I'm going to be using the flash version today and um, to do some sorts, shots of my son on this nice soft blue background just going to be headshots, nothing more than that um, I'm going to do some with the ring light and I'm going to use some with the continuous light but the continuous light the side to get some shadow across here and stuff um, so I hope you enjoy the images and and i hope you enjoy some of the behind the scenes stuff so i'm going to get into the video now i'm going to stop talking and roll intro Hi folks and welcome to another another video with Mackenzie Photo. This week it's going to be a little different. I'm going to be doing a portrait session with my children, hopefully, if they're willing to oblige me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get quickly set up. Um, I'm recording this before I've actually done the photo shoot, so outfits may change. Um, but yeah, we'll get into the setup of it just now. Okay, so i just done a few shots there with the ring light. I'm going to do a few more just with continuous light. I'm going to do some on the Fuji and I'm going to do some with my uh, first ever 35mm film camera. It's a, it's a Casino CM1 which is basically a Chinese copy of the Pentax K1000. I love it, it's got an amazing spot meter in it. Um, it was a cheaper version of the big hit for Pentax but it's done me over 20 years. Um, I'm not sure how old the camera is. Probably just as old as I am, but it's a fantastic little bit of kit. As you probably know with a lot of film cameras, 
they were built to last, hence why they're still around today. And I'll never ever give that camera up. So yeah, just, just a quick intermission. Um, my DJI Osmo, it was just sitting recording and it was saying it was overheating. I know it is very hot right now, it was about 25, 26 degrees this afternoon and the heat hasn't went down so I'm sweating buckets right now. You probably didn't need to know that but you now do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my sun back through and I'm just going to do a few simple shots with continuous light and then I'm going to take them over and start editing them. I've gave you a little look around my studio, which is basically my living room where I've had to pile furniture up behind me. Um, you can see I've not got a lot of space to work in. So I'm just doing simple, a really set of simple shots and I'll show you what I can do. The piece of kit that I got, which I'll just go and grab. Sorry about that, folks. So this is the Goodox Wistro A AR400. It's an independent ring light. Um, so it's just got a massive battery on the back. It actually does quite a lot of shots. I think it does about 300 fires um, shooting. It's got quite a good range um, to go through. And I just got this cheap trigger to go with it as this is an expensive, well, it is expensive. I think it was 300 pounds when I bought it about 10 years ago. I think they've went up to like maybe 450, 500 now. But it's a nice little bit of kit and handy to come, um, handy to have, because I can use this on location as a, a strobe light um, and I don't have to worry about carrying a battery pack. It's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it does if, you, it does if you're in a tricky situation. Um, but yeah, let's get back to shooting. So as you can see, basically my living room doubles up as my own home studio, but I can only really do maybe headshots, maybe three quarter lengths, but I can't really do full length shots in here just due to lack of space. As you can see behind me, I have to pile up furniture in the back of me, even though I'm going into darkness, I'll try and give you a better look behind me. So that's kind of the area that I've got to work with. So it's not a lot of space, but I can still create some great images. And as I'm doing the video, I'm just doing some quick headshots of the kids because I've not done any photos of them in a while. I'm getting pestered by my mother. Like any photographer would with children, they'll get pestered by family wanting pictures of the kids. So just doing that just now. Got some goofy ones for myself. Um, you probably, um, I don't know if I've put up some of the, um, behind the scenes stuff before or after this but you've probably seen me just with a quick setup okay folks as you can see i've got lightroom classic up in front of me and i've already selected the images that i want to work with and uh, i'm probably just going to do one or two um obviously i've had a quick mess around with one or two of them as you do on the day when you're shooting so we'll just select yeah, we'll select this goofy one to work on. So, just going to zoom in here, make sure he's tack sharp, 
make sure that everything's in order. I am not going to mess around with the colours too much. Um, blind, it doesn't tend to go well. Everything ends, um, usually ends up magenta. So I'm just going to tweak the clarity a little bit. Take that up a quarter. I know that seem, might seem quite a lot, but it's really it's really not on this on this image. Um, could turn it matte. That seems to be what all the cool kids are doing. But no, I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take it into Photoshop. I'm going to remove just a couple of these wee blemishes. Um, I'll probably just do one image. Now this is taking this length of time because if I do it any longer, the video will end up being a few hours long. So, right, I'm just going to zoom in on where I want to work. So we'll start off with the famous healing tool. I'm going to take that up to a decent size just to get rid of some blemishes. If this is going to, there we go. So I just want to get rid of that blemish, that one there, little thing there. There we go. Yeah, not being very precise because obviously. I'm doing this on video, otherwise I'd be able to take my time a lot quicker. What I've got is actually this beauty retouching panel. I fell for one of those gimmicky things ages ago, um, which is like meant to be an app inside Photoshop. It's not. It's just a program board. It's actually it's actually turned out to be quite helpful um, for me doing quick stuff. But um, you can create some high-end images with it. So as you can see, this is do basically doing the steps that you would need to do to um, frequency separation. Um, and it just makes that a lot easier. I just click the button and it does it all for me. And then I go in and tweak the areas that I want myself. So hopefully I'll manage to do that soon. As I say, it's such a large image. And open up Photoshop within Lightroom takes its toll on the processor, especially with this size of image. So with this, I'm going to put the brush quite high up. Um, now where is my brush? So I'll get my brush tool, make sure it's nice and soft. It's a decent size. I'm actually going to put it up quite large. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tweak some of the areas where you've seen those veins coming through. Let me try and get rid of some of those hairs with it. Now it's just all done in moderation. You don't have to go overboard because if you go overboard with this it's far too easy to tell that everything's been tweaked. And I don't want to do that. I like the goofy images the way they are. A lot of the images I have on the walls at home are unedited of the kids just being themselves. So I'm just I'm actually going to try and blur that because he's actually he's looking kind of dark under the eyes there for some reason. It is the summer holidays, so he's probably been staying up later than he should have been. While well, I've been falling asleep early, um, so I'm just going to have a look at that. I'm just going to turn the opacity down of that layer, have a look, yep, quite like that. So as I say, not a huge amount, just going to dull that one down as well. Uh, I don't think I'll give them a tan today, this thing has cara oil is what they labelled it, and you can give people a tan if you want with that, um, but yeah, I'm not going to go into that today. Okay, you just had me blethering through OBS and with that I hope you enjoy the shots. I'm going to put up the final edited shots just now and hopefully you enjoy them. Here they are.
Okay folks, that's almost the end of this week's video. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. As I said, I do have a discount running in my store. I'll put it down um, in the in the description below. I've also put it in the bottom of the screen. I've got loads of merchandise supporting me. I've got fuck cancer, pardon my French. Um, and basically, if you buy that, I get a little bit of money and it just helps me go through the process of having cancer twice. It's not a nice experience. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, but it's one of those things. I've got a good prognosis. I'm sure I'm going to be here for a long time yet. And fingers crossed you can help support me. I've also got a few other things which I'll put in the description down below. Um, but please feel free to have a read. And also, please, whatever you do, like, comment and subscribe. And for some reason, I don't know if you can hear it, there's now an ice cream van coming up the road. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I don't understand why it's coming up, but I'm just going to bear through it. Yes, yeah, so please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.